my god. Yeah, that definitely is coming off today. Ooh, baby, look at these Johnnies. Steph, where are you going? Here, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just take these and I'm gonna... Sheesh. Take a look at that. Take a look at all that angle. No, these are not the Sehai at all. Hey! Everything in this driveway tinted. You heard? Everything tinted. And that's my grandmother's whip. I don't know how she sees out that thing, honestly. What's good, y'all? I'm back with another video. I know you guys are probably getting tired of this car just sitting here in the same exact spot because I know I am. But we just got back. We just got back from Low Life. Got my new coils. Well, not really new, but angled more look at that oh my god look how excessive that looks that just looks dangerous so i originally went to low life to get these done and what the problem i was having is the diameter of the bottom part the sleeve part was actually too small and then i did it again and then it was too big so i had to get them redone and when i got them redone i said you know what why not just tilt them more so i could actually have more camber that was one of the issues the second issue was when i actually put them in the car in the picture that i had posted on my instagram they were only in the sleeve about halfway let me show you guys what i mean here i don't know if i'll be able to get these in right here because the car is so low and these aren't even in all the way you see how the sleeve is here it was only halfway in because the diameter was too wide so then when i actually got them in all the way it only gave me negative 10 degrees of camber which is so weird because when i had them halfway in they were giving me like negative 25 or negative 20. originally the struts were angled to the first time was negative 12 i tried them one more time and then it was negative 17. this time it's negative 30. y'all can see that's a that's a crazy angle compared to the first one in the other video that I had posted. So yeah, hopefully these get me sitting to about anything over 15, I think I'll be content. So I'm reaching for about 17, 18, 20 is the max I really wanna go. So today I'm actually gonna be taking these fenders off completely in the OEM fenders. They're usually the, is like a little inside lip. So I'm gonna have to cut that off so I could get that mint fitment. And then basically just throw the struts back in and dial in the fitment here. Because in that last video, I just threw the wheels on and just called it a day. Hopefully today we'll have a, a good representation of how the front will look dialed in and ready to drive. Like my arm's getting sore. I don't know. It was weird. Uh, I'm sure you're not gonna die. Steph. Wait. Let's let's proceed, shall we? What have you done? I've uh, jacked up the car. You know that took a lot of effort right there. So I put this coil in, and you guys can see. I'm not even gonna try to take this out because I just tried to pull it out, and the whole car shook, and I'm I'm good. I don't know if the camera is gonna capture that but it's super angled in to the point where I literally have to make the camber. Now, opposed to last time, it was flush, I just jacked it up and then it went smooth in, but now I literally have to make the tilt. Oh my God, that's super angled. That's because, what you wanted. Yeah, that's what I wanted, but now we know it works. So I'm gonna have to jack it up, push it over, and then bolt it in. That's never coming out. Like even now, like it's moving inside, but to pull it out, it's like on such an angle. It's not coming out. Like my axles are probably gonna be bad after this. Cause this is a lot of tilt. Like usually it lines straight up to the top. All right, first. Oh, black shirt again. No, I'm about to get loose. This is a regular, I start off with a shirt every time usually and then it's take it off. I don't know why. You do it on purpose. I do it on purpose? Yeah, maybe you should just wear crop tops like me or something. Crop tops? Oh. I don't think that made anything cooler. Come on! You gotta work. What? I'm, I'm recording again. Huh? You didn't you know see the last the video? Of my last video. Wow. People loved you. <laughs> I want to know when that computer getting fixed. That's next. After I put this all in, once it works properly, then I'm gonna tow it to the Volkswagen dealer. I already you can't make this car too low. I know I'm gonna raise it. <laughs> you got him looking cute and sexy and shit. <laughs> you doing this, doing the jacket. Record, you doing? Uh, recording. This. <laughs> Take my shit off. Got the, got the dad bod now. Come on, bro. What, 20 years ago, Dave? Yeah, Tell me. Exactly. Well, fuck with me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where we were. Steph, you're actually sweating. This is. Uh, yes. This is the part where you 
Look, you're sweating. We'll that camera woman hard work. It doesn't get appreciated enough. Look at my hair. I know, it looks good. This floor is like lava. Uh, here we go. Did you just get the fender done? I think so. I think there's like two bolts here. There you go. Wiggle it in there. Not in yet. I don't want to up the fender. Excuse your language, woman. All right, boys. This might be a little too much tilt now. I might have to do positive camber from the top plate just because of how much tilt it is already. This is not even jacked all the way up. And you can see a noticeable difference. In that picture that I put up, that's with the strut all the way in, originally how I had it done. And that's when the sleeve was tilted to negative 17. Now it's tilted to negative 30. So now it's a 13 degree difference. Once everything's all in, it's probably gonna be about negative 25. I just don't know how my axles are gonna hold up, but we're gonna put it on now. We're gonna put the wheel on how it is here. And then I'm gonna show you guys. All right, as you guys can already see, that's way too much camber. I like it like that. I mean, but when it goes lower, obviously it's gonna tilt itself way more. I think I'm gonna take this off. Right now I have two little washers. Actually, let me take it off now so you guys can see. Right there are spacers right now. I know it's sketched them. Tell me about it, I already know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually stack a 10 mil spacer on top of this and see how it sits there. After seeing how that looks, I'm gonna do all the adjustment from this top plate up here. I don't even know if the nuts are gonna fit with this on. Only reason I'm doing it like this is because I kind of like how much camber it's giving me. So we'll see how it sits with the spacer on. Wow. Took the fender off. My job is done. Pass me the 18 stuff. You know what, we're gonna have to take camber out. Oh yeah, no way. It's hitting strut too. Yeah, we need less camber stuff. Just I'm take off the spacers? From the top hat, from the top hat. Why you don't think this cut to the walk way? I have to have the struts in. What? The, the strut has to be in. The struts aren't in yet. What is the strut? The strut is what holds the car up. The Update. We lessened the camber and now it might be mint. Might, might be mint. See, this is the stuff that they don't show you on Instagram that people do to their cars. Everybody wants to tilt their cars, but nobody wants to do the things you gotta do to get fitment. I'm hot. If I could do it in a, a colder climate, shit would've been done. Indoor, AC. That shit would've been done. It's the heat, it's dragging me down. I'm on low carbs today. Woo! It's okay. kicking my ass. If those, yep, mint. We're gonna throw these little washers on top of this. Yes, this is the sketchiest YouTube channel. Do not try this at home. I'm just showing you guys how I do it. This is bad. You got Holy it. crap, why do I feel like it cambered more? Hey, what's up? <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Don't mind, I'm just recording car stuff. They're not interested at all. You see how fast he walked away? They're gonna go tell their mom. Child abuse. Verbal. I just want the car to start. I just want food. I want food. Oh, I want food. 234. No meals. Less camber. Okay. We have to do it. Let's go then. Here we go. Take three. A few moments later. Don't make fun of my cuts, please. I'm working with the space I got, and this big ass grinder is not helping the situation. This is only the one side. I have to do the. Oh. Look at that. That's an ugly ass cut, but it gets the job done. Damn. That's the worst. You ever did that stuff when you were young? Yeah, put it behind the tire. Yeah. It sounded like a bike. Way less camber. That looks way better. I actually Fitment. like it like that much better. Let's see. Wow. 
That oh, was shit. good. Wow. First try? See? That fitment's good. Jeez. Now we're talking. That was first try. You guys seen it. Damn. That's actually pretty mint. Make sure everything lines up correctly. How much gap? I didn't think it would sit in. Oh, what, what was, was that? that? Oh, the, the strut, the strut came more up. You see it? Oh, yeah, that's too low. I'm gonna have to go up. That's too low. It's gonna be like on the floor. That fitment is meant though. That's fitment. I this feel is, like that's perfect. This is how the cord was. You this won't be how, able to turn. I'll have to radius everything. The bumper, fenders, everything. See if we have any strut clearance here. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up. Wow, that's close. That's so fucking hot. That's hot. Like that's tough. I'm gonna go up a hair. I think we should go get food stuff. We're getting food. The next day. Yeah. All right guys, reporting live from Hurricane Sandy. No, Hurricane Katrina. Hurricane Katrina, that's what it is. Chances are us doing the fitment today. Uh, I mean, it's doable, but like, wait, hold on. You guys like my cutting fit? This is the fit, so I don't get any sparks in my head. The regular. No sleeves. What? Oh. No sleeves. I don't care. If they hit my legs and my arms, I don't really care. As long as it's not in my eyes, I'm good. Hey! They're trying to steal my shine. You want to... You know what that is? That's them telling you guys to subscribe. We're about to get to cutting the fenders because that's all we could really do today. I'm not gonna radius. I've seen a lot of you guys say you don't want me to radius this car since it's brand new. I mean, I love the radius look. Personally, if I have to, I will. I'm going to take the springs out, run washers just because I need a stiffer ride and even if I get swift springs like everyone's telling me to do, it doesn't change the ride quality. On my first GTI, I never liked the ride quality of my 50k swift spring so instead i used washers on my accord and it rode a hundred times better so without further ado let's get to cutting it's good <laughs> it's good <laughs> Just cutting the inside lip. I like this better than just rolling the fender just because when you roll it, you're just basically taking this little lip and you're flattening it. Like, can you see that? That mm -hmm. little lip. So there's still this little lip, but then I'm gonna go over it with the grinding wheel and just smooth in all of it out and make it super smooth. You guys wonder how you get the super tight fitment this is how cutting this out will increase the chance of it buckling so probably after i do this i won't back up and turn ever again that's another reason i'm going washers because if i for example if i'm turning and the tire is hitting the fender basically the car lifts up and then it comes right back down on the wheel it's ten, nine times out of ten gonna buckle just doing it like this making it paper thin and then putting washers on the car just makes it mint just from my experiences, like how I have my Accord, I just never backed up and turned unless it was a little bit, and I was still able to get full lock turning forward. It would just hit the tire, but it would never buckle. Listen, trial and error, okay? That's how I know how this shit works. If it wasn't for me buckling five fenders on the Accord, I would not know how to dial it in. Hopefully I don't buckle any on these. How much did you spend on this fender? Like, like one something? 180. 180, yeah. I'm not spending a $360 on a set of fenders every time I buckle. Yeah, so this one's already pretty thin. It's like literally a little hair. I'm gonna go a little thinner, grind it all the way down so that it's completely flat. And then basically just go over it with some sandpaper so that it doesn't cut through my tire. My biggest advice, take your time, please. Don't wanna 
total your car in a month, like some people. You could see from the top of both fenders, it doesn't look like anything was cut. But if you look at the inside, it's pretty smoothened out. That one's pretty thin. It has a little bit of a lip, but it's not too bad. Here. It has to like clip on there. Look, Steph, you're teaching me a thing or two. I know it's not connected, but. There's bolts down there, so it's gonna be nice. So that's how it'll sit. I have just enough clearance. Let me see. The camera really can't pick it up as well. There we go, that's a better angle. So just enough, a hair. Mint, now we're mint. <sighs> that looks so much better. It clears here, yeah, on the lip, but when I turn, this tire is gonna skim this bumper right here. I mean, we'll see once I mock everything up. We'll see how much more I need to cut, but that doesn't look that, that bad. The clearance. If you come here, like that's a little bit. So when I turn, it's probably gonna hit it, but barely. If anything, I'll shave that down a little bit more too. But that's nice. Now we're doing something. This is like the perfect weather to work on a car. Yes, I know, it's nice and- Not sweating. I mean, but I don't think I'm gonna do the washers today. Tomorrow? Yeah, I think I'm gonna save that for another day. This is why I said everything takes patience because like, I don't wanna do it all today, so I'll save it for tomorrow. If you guys don't have a project built and you guys are trying to do this to your daily, I definitely do not recommend it. That's the daily, this is the project. This is how I like it. That's pretty mint. I'm pretty proud. That was the first try too. I give myself a pat on the back because you know Stephanie doesn't give me a pat on the back, so. Any last words, Steph, until let's, tomorrow? Let's clean up and get back. My job here is done, people. Get back tomorrow. Hats off. Hats, Hats off, off cause I'm it keeping real. it real. So keeping it real. Right, that's what he says? Trying to make a video. Ghost is not getting in the pool. He's not having it with me. I already threw him in too many times. So we took today off. Well, took the morning off. I'm going to have to do the other side. Took the coils out, the one side that I already had mocked up and everything with the spring actually in. So I took them out, put the washers in. Basically, tomorrow, do the other side, show you guys how I'm gonna do it, and then basically just have that fitment dialed in. Taking my time, guys. Always take your time. Probably gonna be like a three day video. Again. But it's all for you guys. Keeping the content coming. Every video is a banger. This is gonna be part two of cameraing the GTI. Hopefully you guys like this one. No, I know you guys will like this one. So now that you're here, just hit the subscribe button. Come on, help us out. Ghost, tell him to hit the subscribe button. Where is he at? Is he, oh, he's under, oh. He's under the shade. He told you guys, I'm, I'm telling you. Trust me, he told you. He just didn't tell you verbally. Yeah. A father knows his child. Yes. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Three for now. I don't think you're ready. You're not enthusiastic today. You actually... know I'm ready. Hold on, let me see here. Look at that. Oh my god, the camera. Can't even get it. I can't even get in there. Oh my god, that's literally perfect fitment. Sheesh. Steph, I wish you could see in here. Get in there, partner. Let's go. Wow. Look, a hair. We might have to go up like three washers. Yeah, we gotta go up, Steph. I gotta go get washers. I don't wanna take this thing off these bricks and this thing is planted and when I have to drive it back home after getting reprogrammed, I might break a oil pan or something and I'll be pissed. See how big three is? Thick. 
So we're not going up much. This is three. We're going up four. 17, 18, 19. 19. Pretty easy. You hammer it back on or no? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. This is the one right here. I'm calling it. Now we're talking. I know it looks much higher, but that's because it's on the bricks. We gotta make sure we have short clearance. That's the most important. That is literally a hair. That's so close. I don't know why I went closer if I went up, but. Ah, this is the best feeling, seeing Stephanie work on my car. Stephanie, safety first. What did I tell you? 18, 18, 18, 19. Didn't even count. Went to Home Depot. It's okay. We made the right estimate. Perfect estimate. Don't tell me I stripped it. Is it hot? It's Steph. That shit snapped right off, bro. Can you explain to them what happened? I don't think they've seen stuff. I think they've seen what happened. This one might. I don't know if this is gonna work. I, might, I could just be looking like an idiot right now. I'll probably drive like this, honestly, but I don't know how the ride height is going to be on this side now, just because that's probably going to make it a little lower. I, I remember something like this happened on the Accord, and I lost the, the piece, This that stopper. Where is yeah, it Yeah, that thin one. This one. No, I had lost it, and then I ran it without it, and it was like lower on one side, so I did this exact thing, and I just put it in without it, and that's what I'm doing. I'm just taking this part out, which kind of is like a stopper. You should be fine if you've done it before. Did I tighten it all the way? Yeah. All right, let's see if it goes. For all of you who are watching until now, thank you from the bottom of my heart for sticking to the end of my so boring videos. Make sure you guys are tapping in each week for the moment we've all been waiting for. It's on my game. Look at that. Come look. Are Stephanie. you turning on the wheel? Yeah, this side's turning. I don't even think it's turning, it's just the alignment is so bad. You had to pay for that. Oh man, look at that strut clearance. That's just beautiful people. You guys. You. Yes, you are a real one for watching this. We have to mock up this bumper, at least get it on just so we can get the final look down. There it goes. Wow, that's fitted. Fitment, look at that. Look at that, mother. That's fitment. Do you care about my car? No. That's fitted. Wow, that's beautiful. That's just wonderful right there. That's fitment. I'm gonna have to cut the inside of this bumper off just because it's gonna hit right in here. It looks the same, honestly, on camera. It doesn't get any better than that right there. Couldn't have done it without you, Stephanie. Yes, yes, come on. This is how you give fitment. One on one, take your time. Like I said, do not rush fitment. It takes time, people. Do you agree? I don't think there's nothing left to say. I think they've seen it all. I think you should wrap it up, Steph. Tell them like, comment, and subscribe. Go oh. like, comment, subscribe. Do it now. Do that was so dry. Do it. Like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more bangers. Upload every week, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.